hello. No, I'm just kidding. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a September favorite, I mean August favorite video, sorry. So today is September 1st, which I think is so crazy because we just got out of school like yesterday. I'm kidding, but like this summer was definitely the quickest. So like I said, I'm doing an August favorite videos, and if you guys are wondering during the video why I didn't show, why I'm not going to show any clothes video, clothes favorites is because, you know, it's summer and I've been in my pajamas all day. Unless I have, like, soccer or a party or something, but other than that, I'm in my PJs all day, and I can't even forget that, okay? So, let's get started with the favorite. Okay, so the first favorites are food. So I know these are open and because I just got them, but these are the bomb. So I've known about these for like a long time, but I just started eating them and I've been crazy about them. You know, so they're like really good because they taste, they're like Fritos, but they, they taste like barbecue flavor and they're twists and they're like pasta. They look like that kind of pasta, you know? The bag smells like them, which is fabulous. So, yeah. Next favorite is, I don't know what to call this, social? A book, because that's my social life. No, I'm kidding. But I don't know what to call this, like education educational like objects yeah objects there we go so i read divergent in three days seriously and there's 487 pages it was so good like i saw this really funny post on instagram and if you didn't read um divergent yet then like cover your ears or something earmuffs because like it was it like imagine that you're in the book and like, four comes up to you and holds your hand, and then, like, a knife is jammed in your eye, like Edward, because, you know, Peter jammed a knife in his eye. So, it's funnier on Instagram, because it, like, kills the moment. But this book is seriously the best. It has, like, the same background as The Hunger Games, but I think Veronica Roth did a little bit better than Susan Collins. I'm sorry, Susan Collins. I love you, but... Veronica Roth, I love you even more. Like, this is my new favorite book. I just, like, poke myself in the eye. Like, next favorite is beauty favorites, hair care favorites. Um, stuff like that. So, yeah. So, the first favorite is this dry shampoo. I started wearing this at the end of August because I just got this a few days ago. But, like, if I'm walking around the house in my pajamas, I just spray this in and comb it out. And it looks like I worked really hard on it because it's so shiny. And it's really straight. The next favorite is this L'Oreal lip stain. Um, oh, you, I can see myself in there. Ha, I look, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to try to block off the glare. Hold up, I just put this in front of there and, no, whatever. Okay, so you get the point, but it just, you twist the cap off and then looks like this. I think Bethany Moody uses this, so this makes me love it even more. Yes. Okay, and... I'm sorry to interrupt this, but before I forget, I've been learning how to, I just learned how to make these bracelets, the fishtail loom kind, but like, it's so cool, like I don't, I don't know why I like it so much, but like I don't know, like it's just amazing, basically, so yeah. Okay, back to beauty favorites. So, the next favorite, it's, I probably already showed you guys this one, but I just have to show it again. The CoverGirl Lash Blaster Strength Thingy Mascara. It works really good. Like, it looks like you're not wearing any mascara, but it just makes your eyelash look, like, eyelashes look really long. And if you get it as close to the roots as possible, then it looks like you're wearing eyeliner too. And that might work for all mascaras, but this one, it really works. Okay, so the next one, where is it? Oh, okay, so I have three for the next one. These are like hair supply favorites. So, 
Yeah. I don't know if I guess stand up. Okay, so I have a bunch of headbands that I love. The first one is this galaxy print one that, and it has a moon. You guys probably just saw that. So it's this galaxy print one that I purchased from Delia's, and it's really cute. Like I, I look kind of weird wearing it now since my hair is wet because I just got out of the shower. But that's the first one. The next one is just this cute floral print. Um, it's sheer, so. I don't know if you can see my eye through this, but yeah, I think you can. So that just proves how sheer it is. And the next one is this flower one. It looks cute if you just, I'm going to put this one on because I have to shoot a cute idea. If you just, you know, like this, it looks kind of pretty. So I might wear, that, wear it like that to school, but anyway. Oops. That's my favorite. Okay, so the next one is this cover stick. It was really cheap. It was $2 at CVS and NYC. So all you do is just take the cap off and roll it up and put it at anywhere you have blemishes or you have to, you know, fix your face. No, I'm kidding. But this looks really good. Okay, so the last favorite, no, no, the last favorite in the beauty category is this perfume. It's really, like, I don't know how to explain it. It smells really, really good. It's made by Dream Angels, and it the scent is called Heavenly. I don't, yeah, you could kind of... Whoa, you can see me three. Okay, but it's called Heavenly, so. And I know why it's called Heavenly. If you guys can guess it, then you're awesome. <sighs> because it smells heavenly. You guys were right. You guessed it. So that's the last beauty favorite. Okay, so for the next favorite, I can't show you guys... Like, I can't let you guys listen to it because this is the music favorites, song favorites. Uh, my favorite songs are Applause by Lady Gaga. I just love that song. So, I've been singing it in the car. Even when it's not on, I sing it. Also, um, Still Into You by Paramore. I heard it on one of Bethany Moto's videos, and I didn't really like it. And then I heard it again on the radio, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this song is so good. And then I, there's another song called Summertime Sadness. I don't know who it's by, um, but it's a really good song. Like, when I heard it, I was like, oh, my gosh. No, nah, I'm just kidding, but that's a part of the song. So if you guys know that part, then you guys know the song. And if you know the song, then you guys are my best friend. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I don't like it, guys. Kidding. Again. All right. Um, I crack myself up sometimes. Okay, the last song favorite is Acapella by Carmen. I love that song. So, yeah. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I had a good time making this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I don't get many views. So, I know there's like seven people watching this right now. But that's cool. That is cool. You know, as long as I get seven. Sometimes I get like 12. But sometimes I watch my videos, so half of them are probably me. But anyway, I'm sorry I cut myself off. Hey guys.